she would have a cup of coffee and that would spike her, her cortisol levels too high. And that's something I see a lot in my patients, that toxic stress shows up as cortisol in their saliva that's either too high or too low or both within the same day. And if you're measuring cortisol in the saliva, which I think is the most accurate way to measure it, it can you can measure it at four or five times during the day, as I do with my patients, and you can see what the pattern is. So you're meant to have your highest cortisol within 30 to 60 minutes of waking up. And then it's supposed to gradually decline over the course of the day. And if that's not happening, you may find that your energy is not what it could be. So measuring your cortisol in your saliva can be really accurate. Also measured in your blood. But when you measure it in the blood, it tells you the total cortisol. It doesn't tell you the free level of cortisol. Salivary cortisol tells you free levels of cortisol. And that can be helpful because free cortisol is what's biologically available.